Well, we have a, a busy night here at Eiffel Orlando, no doubt. There is a sorority group here of um, the Rawlins College in Orlando. It looks like they're all going to fly while Joey and uh, Chris are here and getting people ready for the tunnel kicker in the cloud leap. Joey Marshall working over here, preparing a four-way team. And Christopher is done now. And we'll speak with them later. So is this the lineup for the Shamrock Showdown? Because yes, yes, SBD is not coming. Yes, okay. Yes, All right. Yes. Yes. Zeus 5.0. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. All right. Joey and Chris will not compete with their speed at the Shamrock, so they're open for taking on some paracoaching projects. That's what I was asking. <laughs> and Armor, of course, was greatly excited about it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Christopher Kuhlmann, Joey Marshall, guys, thank you for taking some extra time. <laughs> we are at Skydive, uh, no, what? We are in I Fly Orlando. That's right. And we are in the flight chamber here. Last time when we talked, remember? Yeah, we were in the honor, in the honor of Heracles. At, at the, at the Twitter. <laughs> So Chris had the idea, I think, last time, 
And I thought it would be pretty cool actually to be in the flying channel. It's a great setting, idea. <laughs> setting, setting the most interesting interviews in the world of skydiving. Yeah. <laughs> and it's on you. <laughs> so what are you guys doing in Florida? So we're coming out here and we're uh, doing some coaching in the tunnel. Uh, we're doing a lot of flying with Zeus, and uh, tomorrow and Monday, uh, sorry, tomorrow and Tuesday, we're flying with Sully Williams. Oh, don't forget the kicker. We've been doing the kicker we've been doing every night. the kicker. We've done the kicker in Tampa and in Orlando now. The kicker just end, ended here in Orlando. Yeah. So it sounds like your traveling has increased quite a bit since, uh, yeah, just since a bit. something major yeah. happened in your life. <laughs> something major. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, joining Airspeed has been a beginning of a, of a great adventure so far, and it's, it's we're only a month in, and we've got uh, a lot longer to go, and we're super excited about it. Well, let's talk. Let's go step by step. So the last time when we talked, it was at the USBA Nationals. I think the competition was over. Mm -hmm. You had another great meet, and we didn't know anything, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. What happened from then on? Like, let's try to go like um, in steps because it's only like three months, four months, yeah. not even, yeah. and all of a sudden, bang, your life has changed. So you know, Airspeed had a, a lineup change, right? Uh, Matt Davidson was uh, filling in for um, for Ari, um, and uh, Tiago was finished after this year. So um, they ha they held tryouts. Um, and Joey and I and a few other people went out for the, the tryouts and uh, they liked us and that was it. And the story was wrote, written right there. Yeah. And, and everything kind of came together, it, everything came together in like a, a very specific way to make this possible, yeah. you know. Um, uh, uh, part of it is that um, we're, that the the airspeed project is really in need of thinking kind of long term, and uh, uh, they found themselves in a position this year. We found ourselves in a position this year where uh, that is a possibility. We're not chasing that constant two-year world meet cycle. Um, so now uh, there, there, uh, we found two new heirs to the throne for when these old guys uh, <laughs> die of a heart attack. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Nick Lassie, we love you, but you guys are getting old. <laughs> well, so for you, Chris, there was actually more behind it because um, between the USB and Nationals and now there was also the, the yeah. World Cup. Yeah. So it, be, it was more complicated, let's say, for yeah. you. Yeah. you Give us the background uh, or the insights of that. So being on uh, XP8, which is now Airspeed XP8, um, after Nationals and after the World Cup, um, they, they needed to do what was best for their team, the US team. Um, obviously after the World Cup, we came in third behind the French and the Russians. So uh, making a lineup change and, and moving me to the alternate slot uh, was probably the best thing they could do, right? Taking on Mikhail and uh, Niklas to really ramp up that, that eight-way decision. Um, and, and now we're here. I'm yeah. still the alternate, still happy to be there, and now uh, on airspeed, so it's uh, the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah you have the time in your life, right? Um, so the, um, the, S with the airspeed situation is, um, Niklas and, and Mikhail are going to Russia, you're going to Russia, and in the meantime, you're doing your four-way training and... Yeah, me and Joey get uh, the privilege of focusing solely on the four-way yep. uh, this, this season, you know, and uh, being there if need be for eight-way, um, and, and Mikhail and Niklas are full-on eight-way and then with us in the four-way, so they're doing double duties and working super hard. and. Mm -hmm. And it's good for us because it gives us a, a chance to catch up, you know, while they're yeah. focused, their the focus is spread between the two. And you're doing everything to catch up. I mean, you mentioned earlier Solly and Florida and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. What's behind that? You're here for a special extra training? Just yeah. Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, I mean, so, uh, Solly's coached the team a lot and uh, coached Airspeed a lot in uh, 2018 uh, or in 2017, I think maybe both years um, and uh, they've kind of come into uh, they've kind of come to an agreement on 
uh, how uh, um, their preferences on uh, kind of individual flying skills and and uh, Nick and Mikhail have already been uh, kind of bringing us into that and they figured it would be a great opportunity sooner rather than later to introduce that directly from the source in some cases with Solid Williams. <laughs> the source. <Yeah. laughs> the source, the, the, the R2G source or <laughs> whisperer. <laughs> the SP whisperer. <laughs> so, so you we, we can call him Yoda. <laughs> Oh, in Germany they call him the Schleifer. Oh, the Schleifer, huh? Yeah. yeah, you know that you have a German name. Where is the German name coming from? Uh, from my father's side. Okay. Yeah, all German. And we went a little bit, uh, I want to bring this up too quickly too, because we went also back in the ranch second generation history mm -hmm. earlier. Yeah. Where you're coming from. And you said, I, I didn't know this, so if I don't know, I don't know how many people know, but you are also partially responsible at least for the team name well joey named us but yeah my mother was also the second uh, that's where the second generation came from we had bren richards um, who obviously her father and uncle are uh, from the ranch and my mom was a jump is a jumper um, bren is the original member yeah bren richards and uh you know i was i was uh, a new sky ever coming up with a Name. <laughs> and Joey came up with the ranch second generation and it, uh, it I named it after him, yeah. essentially. You're a sweet lad. <laughs> <laughs> that is very really cool. So you have you share all that history to and now you share the future at the same time. Is that must be really exciting for you now. Although Gina and Michelle are probably pissed, right? That well they're been... they're going on they're doing their eight way thing, well, you know, they've right. got a great opportunity in front of them. And um, and they're starting a uh, girls team over at XP, uh, G4 XP. G4 XP, uh, I believe is the name right now. Yeah, they have a, uh, Gina and Michelle have a uh, opportunity to win a world meet this year. Right. You know, that's, that's, a, that's a huge thing. And they've got a, uh, a four-way team that's uh, a, a, an all-girl four-way team, which is going to uh, be great. And um, who knows, you might be seeing them in a world meet uh, coming soon. Right. So. I think I think that um, you know our <laughs> our Beatles the Beatles phase of R two G has ended and it's uh, this, the, the the hit singles uh, solo career phase is, is is kicking in and it's and it's going to be great all around and Gina and Michelle I mean best teammates you know best teammates yeah. most talented people we've ever had the yeah. privilege of being around you know and yeah. great and teammates. driven like that's oh, yeah. they they kept us straight for a long time. You know? <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's wonderful to you. Hi, Gina. Hi, Hi Lisa. Hi, we love you. Love you. Well, um, we could go on with this forever. I know that for hours, but I think they want to um, shut down the place here now. And they're all looking at and us. And we have to leave it like this for now. We'll have the next opportunity soon, hopefully at the Shamrock. Yeah. Um, first of all, we'll see you at the Wind Games now. Yes. Yep. yes. So everybody in the world is excited to see that. We're excited. Good luck. Thank and you. Then Welcome back to Florida very soon after that again. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you.